There we go. Sorry, I was confused because the game wasn't showing up right away, but hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the stream. As always, I am Forever Mad Dog, and today we're playing some more Ocarina of Time. I, I wasn't sure what to play. Like, I know I have to get back into- or I have to start playing Monster Hunter World again. I didn't play it, like, at all last week, but, um, I thought, what the hell? We're starting stream late today anyway, so might as well do this. I haven't played quite a bit off stream. I'm almost, I've almost just about beaten the game. I'm missing some hard pieces and I hate the fact that I don't actually remember where most of them are. I know this game pretty well, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but how are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. I myself am doing pretty alright. And uh, yeah. Last time we played, we just beat Jabu Jabu. I don't have Froar's Wind yet. Okay. And do I have bombs equipped? No. I think you can kind of see the uh, the bomb, the one rock under there. Oh, not anymore because it's broken. But you could. Mm. Yeah, I have legitimately no clue what uh what items are mi uh what oh, harpies I'm missing in the in the other file, but I know at least one of them. Oh, I didn't do Richard. Uh, I didn't do frogs. Well, I think you can get two heart pieces from that. I'll worry about that when I'm playing offline. Uh, but yeah, right now we're just basically wrapping up what we can do in, uh... Uh... In the, uh, child section. And then... Uh... Yeah. Then we'll move on to, uh... Grabbing the Master Sword. All oh, right, this goes. I never grabbed this one. I guess. Okay. Um. I'm not used to wearing this hat anymore. It feels weird. Wrong button. Uh, but yeah, frogs I'll do once we return to kid later, because um, I think either one or both heart pieces are locked behind Song of Storms, so. And we can't get that until we become adult Link, so yeah. Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, I bottle duped. I forgot about that. I mean, I didn't do anything weird. Nothing weird happened. <laughs> Um, if I'd done everything the way I'm used to doing it, did I do fishing? I think I did do fishing, but I have to go back to Lake Hylia. Because now I can grab a boomerang sculptures. There's, off the top of my head, one in Lake Hylia. There's... Oh, I have to do Grudo Valley. The entrance to Grudo Valley as well. There's one skull also there and two heart pieces. And... And there's one... In... Did I do this dirt? I don't remember. There's one in Durango's Cavern. Uh, there's one in Deku Tree. Apparently I did not do this one yet. I'm hoping. Oh, uh, yeah, I did all the other. Uh, dirt patches. Oh. 
I know I don't need to do that, but I'm just used to doing it anyway. Oh, there's also uh, a couple socials in Long Long Ranch I need to get. I'm pretty sure I got the heart piece in Long Long Ranch. And I know for a fact I got the bottle, so if I got the bottle, I almost definitely got the heart piece. And I got a bonus song, so. I'd get a bonus song, right? Yeah. Because the first visit to Long Long Ranch, I always grab the bottle, a bonus song, and... I'm <laughs> so fast. And, uh... The last thing. Um... And the heart piece. Right. And then the one sculpture that I can actually get in Long Long Ranch. So trusting myself to actually do things the way I remember them. Hopefully I got I got everything. We're almost at Crudo Valley. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I completely just skipped going here last time. I think. I hope. I hope I remember correctly. Yes, I completely skipped going here. There's the Skulltula. I don't have boomerang on there. We so fast. Okay, good, we got it. Sometimes I mess that up, but it doesn't seem like I did this time. I can get the skull show down there as well. I'll do it after. Hey, nice, I just realized I have 69 rupees. That might actually be the first time I've actually, ever actually grabbed that cuckoo again. Let's see it, bud. I might have put sword away, but okay. 35. Did I get the biggest wallet? I'm actually not sure if I did. I hope I did, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back to Kakariko to find out. Yeah, because it's at 30, you get the biggest wall, then 40 gives you bomb shoes, and then 50 gives you, uh... The heart piece, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I got this one, actually. Wait. How many rupees are you for this one? Was it 50 or 100? Not 50, was it 10 or 100? I don't remember. Oh, wait, I don't have Deku Nuts anymore. One P. Uh, uh, 10 rupees, okay, cool. One piece, 10 rupees. I couldn't remember, but nice. Oh, 
Oh, I think there's also one in uh, Kakiri Forest that I missed. Uh, behind the Know It All Brothers house. There are, there's technically a couple in Hyrule Field, but uh, I need Din's Fire to get them. And I got the tree, right? Yes. And I'm pretty sure I got the one back here, but I just want to check just to be sure. Yes, I did. Okay, the other one's over here then. Got the wrong button. I don't know why I keep pressing that button. Maybe I'm just used to boomerang be on that button, I don't know. Um Yeah, okay. Uh let's go to uh I guess Kakiri Forest since it's just over here. I think there's only one for us to get here right now. It's just this one back here. Okay, I was, I was thinking, like, I'm pretty sure I missed it. Couldn't remember for sure, but it appears that I did. And I have to go into Deku Tree as well, so. Do that on the way. Okay, I'm gonna try to not grab uh, Deku Nuts until I get the fourth bottle. Whoops. Wait, no, that's that's, that's not the right way. That wasn't the right way at all. Don't want that. That was almost bad. Oh, I also didn't re grab bugs last time. Whoops. Deku seeds for my slingshot. Not that I particularly need my slingshot, but it, it is nice to have ammo for, you know? There we go. Thank you. 
It's fine. So I always take a step away just in case it spawns uh, Deku Nuts. I don't think it can, but just being careful, you know. Okay, now I want to go to, uh... Uh, Goron City. So I didn't lose it apparently. That's interesting. Oh, I accidentally went the right way. Uh, pretty sure I did the maze room already, right? I'm actually not sure. I thought I did, but... Because I remember mentioning that, uh... The, uh... Oh, no, okay. Uh, the camera breaks... I I'm gonna assume I did it already. And then I just jumped off instead of blowing up the rocks. I I'm just not going to free the giant's knife, Goron. No way in hell. Doesn't deserve it. <laughs> They're so long. I love it. I can make it. I made it. Just in time, too. Just to be safe. I don't want to lose my shield. Not that it's like the most important thing, but I, I would rather not lose my shield. I do like having the shield. Didn't mean to do that. Interesting how the keys actually change color when they're uh, when they're on fire, but like I guess it makes sense. That was the wrong button again. Ah. 
Sure, why not? Okay, not on the cap go grab the one from the graveyard and then Din's fire Well Song of Time, Ocarina of Time, Din's Fire. And then I really don't think there's much left to do after that. Besides just grab the master sword. It's funny, so I did the uh this uh, So I completed uh Shadow and Spirit Temples on my offline file. And, uh, when you play the Song of Storms to get into the well, uh, it, uh, the windmill actually starts spinning slower. <laughs> it seems. Do I have bomb shoes? I do not. This is this technically it is possible to get this without bomb shoes. It's just rather difficult. I don't know if I did this one or not, so I'm gonna do this just to be sure. Perhaps I have not this one yet. Ooh, 42, nice. Uh, I think it's possible to get above 50 before you grab the Master Sword. That's the 40, this is the 30. Oh, there's the big one. Cool. I'm assuming I have the Stone of Agony, right? I have the Stone of Agony now. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to crouch stab, but I guess I I didn't. It's a very fast two hundred, so might as well. Okay, did that already good.
We get the fun little cutscene of Zelda running away and then Link getting his ass kicked by Ganondorf. Scoopy man. I've always wondered why is his skin kind of green? Like all the Gerudos in this game are all dark skinned except for him. He, he just has this green sickly look to him. It's weird. Unless that's like an act is that an actual skin color? I don't I don't think that's a like an actual skin color in the real world. Unless it is. Island Song of Time, yay! Um, I really don't think there's any immediate uses besides just opening Temple of Time. One other thing I do want to do, though, I want to find the uh, the mailman guy, the postman, or whatever, the the, the running man. He's the postman in Majora's Mask, the, the running man, and I want to give him the bunny hood so that way I can get the uh, the last upgrade for I think it's Deku Nuts. And here's the only required, uh, well, no, no, one of the two required, uh, great fairy checks. Or great fairy items, rewards, I don't know. Because you need magic and you need Din's Fire to beat the game. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Uh 
Have I done Bombshi Bowling? I think I have. Oh, there he is. Cool. Hey, Micer. How's it going? Morning, Micer. Hmm. Slide for, okay, I thought I could slide down while doing it, but I guess not. I ducked under him, but okay. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of rupees. Oh, right, and I can't just warp back. I don't have. I don't get prelude until after Forest Temple, of course. I don't think I can just warp back. No, I can't. I don't know how to bomb slide, so. I can just back walk. That's about the same speed as the uh, bunny hood. Just a little less immediately useful. to the other masks as well, the Goron, Zora, and Gerudo masks. Here we are. 
Go this way. To the last woods. You have a horrible face. <laughs> I love this. Just like, oh yeah, you're really fucking ugly. So we're gonna give you this, so you can not be ugly anymore. Oh no, you can have this so that way. You can have this as an apology for being so ugly. Because obviously, no one else will apologize to you. Oh, I never realized that. I like that it's actually an arrow. I think it's a little more money while I'm going, so. And it's just really slightly faster than, uh, then walking all the way back. Only by a little, I think, but still faster. because I might as well. Let's go as uh, our friends call it, uh, bring the woman her dick. Hey there, Richard. Alright, come with me. <coughs> Ow. Uh, this one? Yes. That was the wrong one. Can I go to the Happy Mask Salesman and get the bunny hood back? Because that's just the most useful one in general. Like, you can see that one Gossip Stone even off screen.
I like the Triforce of Courage glowed ever so slightly more. I don't know if that was intentional, but... It's the Master Sword, holy shit, who would have guessed? <laughs> Oh, I can't skip this, huh? Okay. <laughs> I can skip this text, though. Nice. He's all grown up now. Ow, here. Yuck. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. If I feel like it, sure. Okay, I might want to change my items around a little bit, but yeah. Oh wait, we have to go to the cutscene with Sheik first. It's Sheik. <laughs> One of the best characters in Melee. I, I, I've played Melee like twice at a friend's house. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I do need to change my items around. Uh, I want Akuna here. And then, yeah, really only bombs set there right now, because that's all I really need to set there. Alright, let's go about doing my main steps for adulthood in this game, uh, which is getting a Pona first. That's the most important one, is getting a Pona first. Because having a Pona changes everything. Because we can actually move around a decent speed.
Come here, horsey. Hey, horsey. Alright, let's get my money back quickly. That wasn't my money back. Come on. Give me back my money. There we go. There's five. And ten. I think I have to last it that whole time. kind of funny you can like see the that opponent runs in a slower frame rate because the opponents I was I guess the opponents animations were designed around the frame rate of the game come on I can do that fine I don't need those rupees then I don't need rupees or I'm gonna get a horse That's a pretty sizable lead, I'd say. Maybe I'll do the next race and then, yeah. Ingo. I got me a horse. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, where do I go to begin? I go to Kakariko. During the daytime, because if I go during the nighttime, then I'll kind of screw myself over a little bit. I think I can do it, but like, I'd rather not have to use uh, Sun Zong. If I don't have to. Oh, I guess I do have to do it anyway. But it's an extra use of Sun Song I won't have to use. <sighs> I 
It's a miracle of life. I honestly don't know if it's faster to go up here or to uh, to walk through Hyrule Field, but we're going through here. Coming back, I think this might be faster, but yeah. those is, aren't super important right now. For the Fire Temple it will be, but right now I won't go down here. this way. I know the ways to go. I'm smart. I know this game. I swear I do. No clue what they're barking at. Oh, I know who that is. Okay, never mind. Uh, you know what? While I'm here, I'll grab this. Oh, crap. I never did that. Whoops.
Ow. Hey, look at that. You actually hit me. Good job, Dante. Unfortunately, I can't get both rewards at once, so I'm going to have to do this a second time, but yeah. Not quite a new heart. Okay. How many? How many? Bah, how many am I at right now? Three? Yeah. Let's get the fourth one, and then we'll uh, bring the medicine back to the forest. <laughs> okay, I guess I was too fast. <laughs> Never seen that happen before, but all right. Oh, well, he's way more active with the fire this time. There we go, 11 hearts. All right, back to the forest. So I learned the hard way on my uh, offline playthrough. Oh, my off-stream off, off stream playthrough. Um, if you do the archery gallery before you have the bow, you just get 50 rupees as, as a reward. Which, I mean, it's a decent chunk of rupees, but not really worth the time put into it. You're only getting 30 rupees profit anyway, so... Then I'm pretty sure it's 20 to play. Ow. Oh. oh, crap. Okay, alright. Can I hit it from here? Probably. I know the hookshot's very finicky in how far I can reach. Oh, wait, cool. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. Wrong way. 
<laughs> yeah. It was just the closest exit to the... Um, to the desert as we can get. And also I can grab this here. Oh, I said so. It's okay. I saw something flashing. I wasn't sure what it was, but it was the uh, the map marker saying where we were. I don't have the bow, so I can't. I can't do the bottle, so I might as well just get. Whoops. I might as well just get the uh, Deku nuts back because I need the bow to get the next bottle anyway. I kind of saw him slide up from the side of the opponent onto the opponent's back. That was uh, interesting, to say the least. I'm just doing. I'm just using the one slot, so that way I don't have to worry about uh, having the claim check in my inventory until I get the bow or Deku nuts. Actually, I'm only getting Deku nuts. It doesn't matter. Okay. God damn, that is a hell of a jump. Now I go back to Death Mountain.
I think riding a pony is slightly faster than Bunny Hood, but I'm not 100% sure. It might just be the same speed. Which honestly wouldn't really surprise me that much. Yeah, if I'm gonna be getting deck enough again, then yeah, I'm just gonna put that there. Ow, I thought I could maybe avoid that, but I guess not. Assuming I wasn't going with 100%, I could technically beat Fire Temple. No, not even technically. I could beat Fire Temple without the bow, I think. I think the only time you ever... <laughs> the only time you ever actually use the bow in the Fire Temple is you the map, I think. <laughs> I thought I missed that for a sec, but no, we're good. Uh, yeah, down here. Do I have a free bottle? Not at the moment. Because I need at least one bottle. Preferably more, but at least one. Oh, that was working, okay. So, like, I can do, uh... No, I can do all of it since I have, uh, the hook shot. Maybe I might just knock this out right away and grab the iron boots. No, I have to come back afterwards and grab all this stuff, like the, uh, the skull shows. It's fine. I'm still questioning whether I actually want to go for 100% or not. Jesus Christ, that fucking acceleration is wild. If that's the case, then, uh... I can grab more bugs later. That's what I meant to do in the first place, but whatever. And also, I don't even need a uh, an ocarina for here. Ow. Thank you. 
Oh, wait, there's another silver back here. I thought there was a fourth one down here, but I wasn't 100% sure. Hey, Stern, how's it going? How revolutionary, right? Oh. Can't even remember. I, mean, I know the randomizer does it. This is, like, completely equipable, too. And I can even put equipment on, uh... On D-pad, like, tunics and boots. Ready for physio? Oh, fair enough. I'm assuming that means your arm's still, uh, doing its thing. And if that's the case, I'm sorry to hear that. forget which way is which. Is this the ice block or is this the other way? I cursed them there. Tennis players. Fair. Goddamn tennis players. Goddamn you Serena Williams. Uh, OT for PC. Oh, 100% legit, yeah. Also, hey, Rox, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. <laughs> okay, I thought you were just gonna say hi to me and not start. I'm like, wow, rude. <laughs> <laughs> but no, okay, that's fair. Then <laughs> <laughs> back to work. Oh. That's a shame, but fair. All right, thanks for lurking, rocks. Yeah, I can imagine it would be stern. <laughs> oh, I thought I got frozen there for a sec. Is it any better? Fair, I guess. And you. I said and you. There we go. Oh, I thought it would slide a bit more. Whatever. That's fine. Ooh, 49. Nice. Or day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, I can get most of these, but that one I'm not sure if I can get. Maybe if I can stand on this thing, but prop. No, I can't. Okay. I actually have to work to get that one, unfortunately. I mean, I don't have to work hard, but I do have to work. Just a touch. Okay, I want one more because I'll be able to unfreeze the uh, the shop as well. Not that I really need anything in the shop, but maybe I'm just too used to the randomizer and unfreezing the shop. most intense mini boss fight in the entire game. It won't already take it longer than I expected it to, because I come on, do your thing. There we go. <laughs> Too easy. Okay, what did it drop? A rupee? Okay, cool. That can be in the background. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> One time, uh, I... <laughs> uh, I did this room with my friends, and... The wolf host dropped a, uh... Drop some Deku Nuts, and the Deku Nuts are just sitting there during the cutscene. It's kind of funny. I like how this is the first warp song I get. It's like, oh shit, my only friend, no! Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's the section with the red ice that, <clears throat> that leads back into the main chamber, so. Yeah, it's really nice being able to equip the uh, iron boots. That's a fix that the uh, 3DS version did that I really, really liked. Because, like, the iron boots were equipable in Twilight Princess. But they weren't equipable in the original N64 version. Which is a travesty. That was the wrong button, I want this one. Oh, almost too far. 
We're good, though. I guess I'll do this first. Give me my tunic, please. Thank you. And it's a way better color than the original uh, Zora tunic. I didn't realize that would happen. Okay, interesting. I thought I'd be allowed to uh, to warp, but I guess not. Cause I warp, it's like, haha, fuck you. No, you can't do that. Not allowed. That's a shame. But all right. I'm not going to worry too much about the skulls yet, because, yeah. I'm kind of on a time limit. done the, uh, the side quest. Really? God damn it. No, why? There we go. That's better. I've technically been in Lake High already, but <laughs> the game punished me for coming here, so I didn't get the cutscene. Four minutes to uh, get to Death Mountain. God damn it, horse. No, stop. Stop. No. Thank you. 
There we go. I need more than enough time. Especially with the uh, stupid bunny hood on. Oh, I also have to grab the uh, Song of Storms too, shit. Once we grab this, then I can start actually working on getting other stuff done. Ow. Like, uh, go finally going to the forest temple. Ah! I almost made it all the way up. He's so fucking big, I love him so much. I won. I've got to thaw the shop. Whatever, they're fine. They don't need to be thawed. I'm not gonna buy anything in the shop anyway. You might notice it's a little bit different. I did kind of make the, uh, the sword gold. Or the blade gold, but yeah. We have a big orange sword now. Ow. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I can do the water temple without the, uh... Or I can get the long shot without the bow. I know I can't beat the water temple without the bow. I don't think. Unless the bunny hood breaks that one uh, part where I actually need the bow. Let's go get Song of Storms quickly. And then we'll uh, head back to the forest. Song of Storms. Ow. Alright, back to the forest. How many sculptures do I have? Ooh. Heart piece, actually. Oh, that's a new heart, too. Cool. There's the forest. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, I'll get Deconuts back as well. Because they actually do help make Forest Temple just a slight bit faster.
And we should have... Yes. And we no longer have four bottles. I have to remember the cave. How did the notes go again? <laughs> I didn't plant beans there? God damn, okay. Can I hook shot up here at least? No. Damn. Okay, I'll have to do that next time I uh, become a kid. God, I missed him. Go okay, grab the sculpture. And then head up to the temple. Hey, Sheik, teach me a song, please. <laughs> I have to imagine instead of just like skipping the dialogue, Sheik just talks really, really fast. Like, she actually says everything she needs to say, but uh. She just says it really, really fast. <laughs> like those people who try to like say uh, tongue twisters as fast as they can. I used to be able to do the woodchuck one really fast. But that was when I was a kid. Really? There we go. Really? I always love doing that. We completely normal climbing speed. I think it's actually really cool that uh, it lets you one shot the uh, skull shells with the hook shot. And the bow is even better for it, but yeah. Alright, let's start with that map then.
I always get to just do crouch stabs and deal like a billion damage per hit. Hmm. Right, I almost forgot about you. I do still have the thing, it lets me block while I'm using the uh, big orange sword. I think it's really funny, you can kill the Deku Babas and get the, uh, the Deku Sticks, but you can't actually use Deku Sticks as Adult Link. Right, this is where you get the compass from, I couldn't remember. Here's the key. Let's actually uh, start unlocking some doors and work towards the bow. Grab this and pull it once. Kind of interesting that the, the Gerudo logo is on these blocks. Like, I wonder why. Maybe the Gerudo are just the best craftsmen of. Giant stone blocks. I climbed up here just to push the block just a tiny bit.
I always think the Forest Temple is a lame temple, and then I remember how cool the Twisting Hallways mechanic is. But unfortunately, how underutilized it is. Stop it, thank you. That's the entire reason why I wanted Deku Nuts. It trivializes the uh, the Poe fights for the most <coughs> for the most part. The um <coughs> the purple Poe fight is different, but that's because the purple Poe is different. Oh, wait, well, that's the comp. Okay, I, I've can. Oh, okay, no, so the. The Stalifos fight. I don't want to be in here yet. The Stalifos fight gave us a key. And then that one room where we fought the bubble, that was a map, and then this was a compass. Okay. That's why I was confused. I stopped paying attention to the items I was getting. And I confused myself because of that. key as well, of course. Can I? Oh, I can just do that. Okay, cool.
There we go. And then it's the last ladder, and then we shoot the eye again, and then we go shoot the other eye. Well, we don't even shoot the other eye usually, or I don't. It, like, just broke all three of those cutscenes for some reason. I'll take it, but... <laughs> yeah, all three of those cutscenes just broke suddenly. Chest I know isn't very useful, so I think it's just like arrows, which is cool, but not super important. Come on. Grab those arrows because they're like they're there, but yeah. Give me the arrows, thank you. Oh, big sack, I killed all our friends. Or our sisters, I guess. Funny, the elevators are going down. I wonder how heavy this puzzle is.
arrows? Yeah. Off to fight the wizard, the fake w wizard of fake. I don't know. Evil spirit from beyond, Phantom Ganon. Yeah, that's the real one. Yeah. Damn. Sometimes it just doesn't want to work. It just doesn't want to, like, go back. It seems to be especially so with the, uh... With the big on sword. There we go. Easy. This force temple done. And getting having the bow unlocks some more stuff for me. I think I'm gonna do my uh, specific order. It, it's a little bit out of order, but yeah. Um, so Force Temple you always have to do first, and then you can do Water and, and Fire in any order, but you don't actually need to uh, see the cutscene to uh, for Nocturne of Shadow in order to go into the well, so I do Force and then Water, and then get the uh, Lens of Truth, because I don't know the path to the desert by heart, and then I do Spirit Temple, and then I come back and do Fire Temple, and then I, and then I do Shadow Temple, because Shadow's my favorite, so I finish it off with that one. And having a long shot just makes everything so much easier. <laughs> I'm already wearing the Zora tunic, so might as well.
Yeah, since they just give, like, generic Hylian mother brought Link here, I it's always been my theory that, uh... The mother that brought Link was actually the queen. And Link and Zelda are siblings. The game never, uh, like, clarifies on that, but that's just always been my headcanon. I know in the comics they, uh... They say otherwise, but, uh... Or not the comics, in the manga they, they say otherwise. But, um... I like my head cannon. <laughs> I have Link as like some long lost prince or something. Which is like why he can use the uh, the Ocarina of Time. Why he has these visions like Zelda does. Not just because he's some sort of chosen one, but... Because he actually has royal blood. Ah, uh, no, I want to go here. No, I do want to go to Kakriko, actually. I'm not going to worry too much about the bottle. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go for 100%. I'll just... If I see your skull shell, I'll grab it. Or if I remember one that's close by, I'll grab it. But I'm not going to just, like, go out of my way for 100%. Mostly because I really don't like doing the, uh, the post side quest. Especially since I already unduped a bottle. This is so much easier with a reticle. That's just something I always go for, because having more arrows is always really nice. Just with, like, how often I end up using the, uh... Um... The bow. Okay, then I do want to come down here, and I want to grab those skulls that I missed before, because... I said I was going to. Oh, okay, I guess I can't jump over that. Okay. And I can't do, uh... Spirit Temple quite yet, because I need to eye... Because I need either uh, long shot or hover boots in order to um, um, right in order to get past the uh, the haunted wasteland. There we go, that's all I want to do here. What am I doing? I can just warp, and it's way faster.
God damn it, really? Oh, we're good, okay. I think it's there because of the torches. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> can I move? No. No, I can. What? Why can't? Why am I spin attacks not spin attacking? I wasn't using magic. Yeah, my spin attacks aren't charging. I can't pause either. Weird, the game still thought I was in the Ocarina. That was really weird. Can't use the sword, I guess. Maybe. Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess I can't uh... block that, huh? That's fine. I know this room is like only for a skull shield, but like, it just feels weird doing the water temple and not doing this room. from here no
Didn't need that. Make sure to grab this key, because I always forget to. This is another room. I know it's just a compass, but it still feels weird to come to do the water temple and not do this room. I forgot to go down in that room. I don't remember if there's anything actually useful in that room or not. Fuck, there probably is. Crap. This is the wrong way. I actually don't remember if there's anything useful down there. Again, they're very likely probably... Oh, no, there is something useful down there. Crap. Yeah, no, there's a uh, there's a key down there. Shoot. So I did mess something up. Who knows, maybe I can fix things. Just breaking the water temp a little bit. That's all. No big deal. Oh, god damn, I thought I could get it.
There's a very real chance that by doing this, I may have... Like, it's possible to reverse the problem, but I, I, I may have soft-locked myself. So I'm doing something I've never done before, and that's actually use Furore's win to be useful. Because again, I've never actually used Furore's win before, so... Well, no, I've used it, but never, like, actually achieved anything from it. Not that I need the magic, but it is nice to have, I guess. There we go. Cause I can do this fight pretty handily without uh, magic. Can I just... <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is just bounce the sword off him and then do a uh, a stab and he, he dies. It took a second for the game, I was like, oh yeah, you can use a long shot, right, sorry. I can't just make that jump, okay, cool. Is that a key? I can't remember. Yes. Okay, now this is the room I want to try getting out of without, uh... Um... I might need Floor's Wind to get out of it, but if I don't, that'd be kind of funny. But I probably- I almost definitely do. Need, uh, Floor's Wind, I mean.
Because, uh, yeah, I never pushed the block down. Oh. Okay, I don't need Ferozman after all. That's really funny. <laughs> I've never done that before. I didn't even think that. <coughs> I need to be down there. I don't know why I came up. I didn't think that's, that's something that would be possible. That's like, I, again, that's really funny. Oh, nice. I actually killed a bunch of them like that. Cool. Or at least one of them. Oh, I almost made it. No, leave me alone, bastard, uh, Rays? I don't know. What is it even called? I don't know. Stinger. Okay. I should know that. Uh, I must have actually un unequipped my bunny hood, but that's fine. Okay, now I know it's just going to be a waste of time, but I need to see if this, if this happens. I need to see how this interaction works. Oh, never mind. The block's back there. Okay, never mind. I won't waste time. Let's just go beat up the boss then. I'm not gonna worry too much about the other sculptures, so yeah. Damn. The bunny hunter just makes me faster than I expect to be. Than I expect to be.
I think I'm probably gonna do this boss and then I'm gonna call it. It's just about four, so yeah. Ooh, that's close. Closer than I expected to be, but okay. How did I miss? There we go. There we go. Okay, just land around on top of it. Cool, good. Oh, I guess I got the fire arrows and then I'll end. Because those are going to be right here. There we go. I mean, there's technically parts where you could use the fire arrows, but like, Din's fire gets the exact same job done. The only arrows that are actually required to beat the game are the light arrows. Alright, there we go. See, so, yeah, I will be calling it here. So, uh, yeah. Um, thank you everyone for watching. 
I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did and aren't already following, be sure to do so. So that way you know if I next time I go live, which will be tomorrow. Playing something, probably Monster Hunter World again. Because I need to get I need to do that again. I mean to just play that for uh, before Wild so I can beat Iceborne. Uh, but yeah, be sure to check out the YouTube where you can see all my latest VODs, including today's will be on there. Be sure to check out the Discord where you can hang out with myself as well as the rest of my chat. And yeah, let's see if there might be anyone live for a raid. Uh, mute the tab. Open Twitch. Honestly, not really. Uh, so yeah, um, I guess I'm just gonna end no raid today. So yeah, um, yeah. As always, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day or your night, and I will see you all later. Peace out, everyone.